Hey guys, thanks so much for tuning in. Uh, we're going to go ahead and show you today how you can vectorize an image um, within seconds. So if you go up to the top left hand corner of your screen in Arc Pro Automation, you'll notice that you have uh, this little globe icon. That's a, an importing tool to bring in Silhouette. So if we click on this, we have an option to import Silhouette. Uh, we have a few different things here, colored options, regular options. Um, the bigger thing about utilizing any of these is you need to really make sure that um, the colors are distinguishable from one another. Um, so it has to be able to really extract and pull one image out of um, the background. Um, so the way that it does that is obviously seeing differences in like lights and dark darkness. Um, so it's going to be able to extract and actually pull out that image. Now we're just going to go to import silhouette. We're going to go to browse. And in this folder, we just have a whole bunch of random files that we pulled off of the internet. Um, just to show you, I'm going to go to the detail level of these files. And you can see that they're JPEGs and PNG files all the way through here. Um, so if we drag this back up, we'll be able to see what we're working with and what files we want to pull. Um, I'll do one that's uh, a little bit more complex, uh, just so you can see how this works. And um, this deer's in the wild here. I'm going to open that. And then notice, give it a second. And there it is. So um, it instantly vectorized this. You'll see that some of these trees, you have these cutouts here um, where they're not as detailed. Uh, most of this stuff, as you, you cut it on a larger scale, um, you know, some of this detail is going to wash out anyways. Um, you know, in the metal, you can obviously tell what it is, that those are trees and those are deers and mountains. Um, so with metal art, it's not as concerning um, at times when you're, you know, you're not able to pick up on all these profiles, but if you did want to sit there, you can change this intensity threshold. We can reduce that, and you'll notice the trees as it updates. So notice that change, and then we'll drag this intensity threshold a little bit higher. So see how it blocks them out there. So we can really just sit here and find the best setting um, to showcase um, how it can cut into these details of these trees. And then as we find a better setting that we think we like a little bit better, um, we can kind of arrive upon that one and we can choose that one. Um, you'll see as you change it, some of them, and, and there's the segmentation quality. Uh, you can really manipulate these thresholds and, and change these um, to get a more refined um, image. As you can see here, we kind of lost these deer's legs here, so we want to we want that intensity threshold a little bit higher, um, so it's bridging those together. There we go. So, um, you know, something like that. As we zoom out, uh, we can just click the check here, and now that tells us we accepted it. Uh, if we click on the image itself, we can go ahead and scale it down here on the left-hand side. We can lock the aspect ratio by clicking on this little lock here so it closes. And then we can say, okay, maybe we want to make the sign uh, 24 inches wide. We can zoom out. And there it is, 24 wide. Um, looks like it's about 10, 10 inches high. Um, so you could stretch this all the way up to 8 feet. Um, you could use it for railings. You could use it for um, all kinds of different uh, designs, uh, doorways, or security doors. Um, so that's a really nice feature that um, the importing tool uh, to be able to really trace out that silhouette. It does it all within the software. Uh, you can click through to cam, and then you'll see in the cam screen uh, pretty quickly it'll automatically vectorize that image. So, or I'm sorry, it'll uh, create the toolpath for that image. So there it is. It popped up. You can zoom in. You can kind of see how the curve is offset from the path. Um, and you have your lead-ins here. You can click on those and you can manipulate those lead-ins by dragging the uh, cursor here. Um, you can bring the start of it and you can wrap it a little bit closer to the profile. Um, or you can pull it further away if you want to get a less of a visible pierce point. So um, you position this on your material and you'd be ready to cut. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Um, we're going to be doing a bunch of these videos, so here's another one. This was about four or four and a half minutes. Um, we're going to try to keep them short. Um, I always say that, and then I end up 
going over a bit, but I figure it's better to give you a little bit more information than not enough information. So um, feel free to visit our website, www.squickmans.com. Uh, you can go on there to contact us and you can drop a request for a video um, specific to what your needs are. You can request that in there. We can also cover 3D modeling. We have a team of engineers here, so if you need to see something in Fusion 360, um, SolidWorks, if you need to see something in Inventor, uh, we can go ahead and get some videos uploaded of all those different platforms. So um, thanks again for watching, um, and feel free to reach out to us with any and all of those questions. Talk to you next time.